Albion boss Chris Hewton, uh, another point, another game gone. How, how did you assess that performance? Um, it's certainly not one of our, our better performances. To change the, the formation, decided to go uh, two up front, which I felt would perhaps give us um, a little bit more control if we if if we can in the final third, keeping the ball and, and possibly getting the ball out wide and and um, allowing us to to perhaps get the goals that uh, that we needed. But but we needed to play better in, on the day. Um, we had, I thought we had a decent spell in, in the second half, particularly when Kasinga came on and uh, it looked like possibly that might be our best opportunity to, to win the game as, as the game opened up but that was always a threat because certainly once the big fella comes up, up front and they got a little bit more direct there was all, always of course a, a possibility they might get something on a, on a second ball but but uh, certainly not one of our best performances I think we have to look at it it's away from home disappointing because I think we're perhaps with the form that Millwall have showed at home, disappointed that we wasn't able to come here, come here and get a win. But um, probably at this stage of the season, you've also got to look. It's, it's away from home. It's it's another point. Um, sometimes you're looking at the other results, and hopefully they went uh, our way, which which I think they did. And um, we roll on to the next one. Was it a game that you targeted to play two up front in, Chris? Um, uh, only after the last game, I think. Um, I think for, perhaps for 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 where we are. Um, we, you know, the difficulty we've had is getting the goals that we want. You know, we've been reasonably sort of secure as a team, and and you know, we're not a side that that concedes a lot of goals, but um, but we're also you know not a side that's that scored a lot, and um, and particularly I think it was an, uh, it was an opportunity for our strikers perhaps to get on the score sheet. Um, playing um, Leon and um, and of course Maka, um, but we just needed to be a little bit better on the ball in that first half period, and uh, and probably that's why it's let it down. Was it the service to the front men that let the side down, Chris? Um, I, I, th I think it, I think it was it was a service. I think it was a, it was a choice also. You know, I think the, the plenty of endeavour I think from from Maka to run beyond and and for Besti to cut to come short, um, but I think it, it was it was perhaps. Uh, a lack of quality service, uh, the wrong, the wrong options, and of course there's a responsibility of, as of front players to want to hold that ball to make good of, of balls that are perhaps not the, the, the top of quality that they would like. So, so I think probably just an overall sort of slackness from from the team tonight. You changed things around at halftime. Barham Cole going off was that an injury, Chris? Um, I, I think he's he's somebody that's played a lot of games in in a in a short period of time. Uh, and he's also somebody that before that, you know, has not been a, a consistent player of, of games uh, over a period of time. So, yes, it was a knock in the end, but I think there was a few little signs maybe just just before that. Um, but but hopefully it'll be okay. A difficult place to come to though, Chris, and you know, with a new man in charge, they came at you very hard the first sort of half an hour, particularly. Yeah, and I think we expected that. And um, you know, the surface is—it's a good surface, good surface to play on. Um, we knew that um, that uh, they would be revigorated with the with the manager. You know, even reading the program notes and seeing what you know this club means to him and the, what he wants his players to do. I thought they played quite well at Bolton. Um, conceded two goals, two very 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 good goals you know against the run of play a little bit so we knew what to expect and um and, and i think they'll they'll keep going right through at the end you were very positive with your substitutions again chris did you feel the game was there for the winning even towards the end yeah and i, and I also felt with with Zhao is that uh, we needed to gain a little bit more control of the ball and you know and, and that's one thing he does do he gets it in them pockets um, really well because i felt could could get us the ball higher up the park and uh, and probably if we were going to get the result that we wanted it was it was probably going to be from one of them two individuals either a, a, a Kasinga providing somebody with a, an assist or scoring him himself or or a, a Zhao and um, and I think probably that's how it panned out. You mentioned it's another point we're going to have lost against like there's no real pressure coming on the Albion from below at the moment which I guess is good news Chris. Um, yes it's good news but we have to look after ourselves and um, the ideal way would have been to have got the result that we wanted at the weekend and, and of course got a result here today then you know then perhaps we could look um, below us in a little bit of a different way but but I think we've got we've got eight games left um, you know I'm seeing some of the results in this division tonight and um, you know it's incredibly tight at the top I'm looking some uh, some of the, the results around of course where we are and uh, that's the type of league and and I, I certainly don't expect to get uh, any easier game than today over the next eight games and um, I think that's the way it's going to go for every team.
You were very quick, Chris, at the end of the game to go and acknowledge the Albion fans. It was another terrific travelling support tonight. Well, they, they were not only excellent by the numbers that, that turned up, but they were very vocal right the way through. They were very vocal at the end. You know, they could have been, you know, have travelled a long way. You know, they, they could have been that disappointment at the end that they didn't get the result or the win that they would like to have seen. Um, but they were, they stayed and um, they were very vocal and um, yeah, we'll need them, we'll need as many as we can on our travels to, to hopefully get us them results that we need. Chris, thanks for joining me.